வெல்கம் டு கிளிக் மை ப்ராஜெக்ட் டாட் காம் எ மெர்ஜென்ட் ஸ்பிட் மெக்கானிசம் ஃபார் டைனாமிக் விச்சுவல் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஃபார்மேஷன் இன் கிரிட்ஸ் நவ் சி அபவுட் தி அப்ஸ்டாக்ட் ஆஃப் அவர் ப்ராஜெக்ட் அவர் மெயின் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் இஸ் டு எக்ஸிக்யூட்டிங் த ஜாப் இன் கிரிட்ஸ் யூசிங் தி ஜிஎஸ்பி தட் மீன் கிரிட்ஸ் சர்வீஸ் ப்ரொவைடர் த ஜிஎஸ்பி ஹேவ் ரிசோர்ஸஸ் டு எக்ஸிக்யூட் த ஜாப் அவர் எய்ம் டு எனேபிள் த ஜிஎஸ்பி டு ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் இன் டு விவோ ரெடியூசிங் த காஸ்ட் ஆஃப் எக்ஸிக்யூஷன் அண்ட் கேரண்டிங் த மேக்சிமம் ப்ராஃபிட் ஃபார் தி ஜிஎஸ்பி த ஜிஎஸ்பி இஸ் நத்திங் பட் இன் அவர் பேசிக் கான்செப்ட் த கிரிட் we have to sharing our resources in gsp in our project we have three resources resource 1 resource 2 and resource 3 and each resources have a capacity for execution and cost for execution so if the incoming job is come into our process the gsp analyze the job and we have a checking that if the job is execute execution in resource or not if the capacity is available for execution the gsp allocate the job to available resources if the gsp cannot identify that the incoming job have not have capacity to execute our for job in our all the resources the gsp handle the job but not skip the job so he split the job and allocate the uh, job to each resources if the resources execute the splitted job and then we have match the result to gsp now gsp execute the job with the minimum cost and maximize the profit we allocate the task to corresponding resources for processing if the resource capacity is not suitable for processing the particular job we have to split and executing sequentially and finally merge the result from all resources our process based and have allocated to all the three resources now we have see about the flow diagram first we have select the job the job should be selected by user and then analyze the job if the analyze job is nothing but we have to analyze the uh, capacity of our incoming job and the file size and the file mb and file length and the what type of files or what type of jobs it is and then resource analysis what type of resource that can be formed in virtual organization in gsp the resource capacity is uh, static and we have a uh, other capacity for executing the job and this is a process for gsp the, and then check availability if the job is uh, once incoming in our process the gsp check the availability for our uh, resources that means uh, if the job is have handled to execute the available resource or not if the resource is available for executing the job the gsp allocated to corresponding resources and then complete the job if the resource have a not capacity the not not availability is uh, find out if the gsp not skip the job if it then split the job and then allocated to all resources and each resources have handled the job and executed Uh, sequentially and then processed the job and completed and then uh, we have uh, sent the result to gsp and the gsp then merge the result and then the find out the, the job is completed and finally we have performance evaluation is uh, involved we have evaluated the resource uh, capacity and analysis and execution time and cost we have finally we have uh, produced the result for maximize the profit and minimize the execution time now we have run our project we have open the netbin and click the home button to run the file first we have to click this image and then select your file that means select your job the job in our src and file and select the any one of the file if the file capacity is high the file is allocated to all the three resources if the file capacity is less it is allocated to corresponding resources is the is the job ma- job matching and then is a file data this is a file name and file type it is a file content and then select next click show button 
if we have analyzed job that means a file name file size in kb and file extension and file length now we have to analyze the job is splitted or not that means if the job is executed execution in resource or not the find out the availability of resources and in clicks we have resource 1 resource 2 resource 3 is needed for execute the job that means the job is heavy load there are no way to handle the job for single resources and then the file should be split as x1 x2 and x3 dot as text file and then connect server and click the file data before we have start process we have run the server server to java after server to run java is executing click start server button and then minimized we have clicked the start process now our process is connected to gsp the server is nothing but it is a gsp it is a service provider and then click the view data our input file is uh, goes to gsp then click the encryption and decryption and enter the path for encrypted and decrypted file Now the encryption and decryption path is nothing but this is the output file where to store and click encryption decryption and click the task perform. Now the resource one is ready to start the process for encryption and decryption. Now we have implemented the AES encryption for uh, used for encrypted and decrypted. Now encrypted file is created decrypted file is also created now resource 1 complete the job the resource 2 will come into our process and start the encryption and decryption here also we have implemented the AES encryption and decryption and we have generated the key automatically and decrypt the job and encrypt the job now resource 3 is come into our process for encryption and decryption Now all the resources are executing the job successfully so, and with the, with the overall time. Now we have re give the result file for uh, this processor. And uh, if the file is split, we have clicked this button. If the file is allocated to corresponding resources, we have clicked the process report button. The process report button have give the detail about the particular resources who executing the particular job. Now our job is split, so I will click uh, split file info. This is the original file, this is split file for, uh, for all resources and then is a process report for resource 1, resource 2 and resource 3 and I click the resource capacity the resource capacity for resource 1, resource 2 and resource 3 whatever the capacity for uh, available for, for our GSP and then uh, resource per second uh, in our job how it will be executed in which time and how much we, we should execute the job and then splitted file name and the file name should be splitted in our resource 1, resource 2 and resource 3 this is a process start time and this is a process end time for all resources like resource 1, resource 2 and resource 3 and then is a overall process time we have computed by process end time minus process start time now our process end time for resource 1 is 16 nanosecond and the resource 2 is 11 nanosecond and resource 3 is 10 nanoseconds and the cost the overall cost for executing for resource 1 resource 2 and resource 3 our resource 1 have executed as 625 pounds and resource 2 1272 1, pounds and resource 3500 pounds and we have clicked the overall cost the overall cost can be executed in GSP it is a comparison graph for processing the cost and uh, the existing system is this our proposed system our existing system is uh, a very accuracy not than our proposed system it has efficiency less efficiency than our proposed system and the graph 2 is a graph 2 process this graph provide the resource 1 resource 2 and resource 3 process time how much the each resource have executing our given job so this provide the very accuracy result for executing our uh, jobs 
and finally the graph to provide the comparison for resource for crossing the cost how much cost they executed in our to chop up so resource one resource to resource two. in our process resource one have execute the less cost and resource two then and resource three the comparison graph for our crossing with the cost so this is the overall process for our uh, project and finally we have execute the all the job with the minimize minimize the uh, execution time and the maximize the profit we have provide the efficiency and the accuracy for our results thank you